Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a video I'm going to do on resources. How to farm steel, coal, um, and other things to uh, to get ships that, that guys might otherwise be discouraged from getting. And, you know, these... These ships are really nice to have. They some of these ships offer some uh, um, some unique play styles and uh, and experiences, and it's it's one of those things that I, I would like um, everybody to to be able to afford these ships. And this video is aimed at at least explaining how I'm able to. Uh, to get resources as, as quickly as I as I do, uh, and what I'm doing to uh, to do that. Um, very first thing and the most timely thing, so I'm going to put that first is the snowflake event. Uh, going through my port, you can see um, I've worked my way down to uh, I'm part of the way through my tier sevens, so I still have. Uh, tier 7 uh, through I believe tier 5 to uh, to knock off yeah tier 5 still has snowflakes get back to a tech tree just curious yeah it's all 500 coal there um, but at this point I've I've got just about all of my steel here um, I had actually been going through the tech tree and realized that I didn't actually own the Richelieu. And uh, so it was a, a hidden snowflake just like the Normandy and Bretagna will be when I get down to, to those tiers. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I've got, you know, all of my gaps covered. I mean, I could speed grind, you know, the Yamato if I wanted to. Not really interested in doing that. Um but going through make sure that i've i've got you know all of my my tier 10s to tier 8s in particular i don't like leaving steel laying on the table um actually could get the lexington so go through here and and just look for uh ships that i could just repurchase and uh actually hipper I thought I had a hip thought I had a hipper apparently I don't so we're gonna go on ahead purchase the ship actually we don't we're just gonna do the sea hole so this will this will end up showing you uh, a video oh hell I recruited a captain. Get out of here, scrub. We don't like you. Let's see. Sorry. If I would have thought ahead, I would have uh, repurchased this, but I'm trash like that. So. I'm not even going to worry about specking them out because this is uh, this is for co-op. I am going to put premium consumables on it because I will forget that the ship does not have premium consumables. And I inevitably will potato and bring a ship, the ship with premium consumables, into a battle that I'd rather not. So I always try to, to do that. So... Basically, what we're doing is we're trading credits and port slots for uh, for steel. So, co-ops to mode. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, <clears throat> just to, to run you through the event, I've done most of this in co-op simply because it's faster. I have... 195, maybe this is 196 ship... I need to, uh, that I have in port, and most of those are T-8 
tier five and up. I don't I don't tend to keep things below tier five. And uh, so I've I've got a lot of snowflakes that I need to need to hit. And as a result, this event really does pay dividends for somebody like me. Now I'm not saying run out there, buy a bunch of port slots. Um, this is something that I've done over four years when there's sales on uh, on port slots. I uh, hi baby. I go and uh, I uh, I'll load up. I try to keep at least uh, two dozen port slots available at any given time. Just to tide me over until you know the sale, uh, the next sale, basically. No, oh, thank you. The kids are on timeout. They were having a freak out. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so the idea behind co-op for me is just get these done as quickly as possible, maintain 100% win rate. Um, above all, you do not want to have to try to revisit uh, these games any more than, than you'd otherwise have to. Actually, I've been seeing the bots rushing through B, so I'm going to turn out here and get in a kiting position. Come on, spot him. Daddy wants to shoot. Mm, number two is singing the song of his people. Fat boat's already shooting at me. Come on. Alright, guess I gotta start angling to these guys. Yeah, it's a good call on kiting out. I'd like to shoot the DD, but that is... That's a lot of broadside to those battleships that I don't want to give. Maybe they got tired of shooting at me. Ah, I should have shot. I potatoed that. Shatters. Unser Team hat die Führung übernommen.
Somebody's gonna try to shoot me. I guess not. going down and there we go <clears throat> I'll take it whatever we can do to get out of this as quick as possible that took longer than I wanted so we got our snowflake that takes me to the next point of our discussion which is joining a clan you notice eight steel why do I get eight steel well, I get 8 steel because I'm me. <laughs> the reality is uh, it's part of a uh, an ongoing upgrade program for our clan. We farm oil, we take that oil and we purchase upgrades for our, our base. So each unit of steel I receive I get 10% on it so for 75 steel it uh, it basically rounds that up to eight eight additional steel that I get just because we've upgraded this this port uh, a good example of this is we only have 7% bonus on the coal we're about ready to unlock that that third upgrade for the coal port fully upgrading it to 10% um, but there really is no no reason why you shouldn't be in a clan this isn't something yes cuter is a competitive clan uh, you know we farm a lot of resources compared to, to most clans but any clan can do this uh, I mean I'm sure the wolf clans and and stuff out there um, for those that aren't aware it's my understanding I'm not affiliated with them in any any sort of way but they're just a, a they're, they basically offer just like a, a clan umbrella. You join our organization. Uh, we place you in one of the, the, the sub clans and you basically um, do your own thing. There, it's my understanding there is no clan meetings or any sort of sort of that that people need to be a part of. And it, you basically you play your game you farm your oil the clan takes the oil and purchases the these upgrades and then you're able to take advantage of of those uh, those upgrades and some of it can be pretty nice um, I mean you know the dry dock for example a lot of these we don't have filled out because we thought we feel coal and steel was more important to our members because um, honestly, I'm a broke bitch compared to, uh, a lot of, uh, my clan members who could bankroll countries with their, uh, their credits and XP. Um, but, you know, this stuff is, is, it's a nice to have kind of upgrade. Uh, looks like this will top out at 15% off, um, uh, your post-battle service you know that stacks on top of the flags stacks on top of camos uh, and in the long run it can save you a ton of credits over time you know the the shipyard you know what's this gonna top out at 15% off the cost of purchasing you know tech tree ships that adds up as well you know research center you know five percent extra what is that yeah tops out at five percent uh xp each uh oh that's for different tier ships uh but looks like there's i was confused by these numbers they weren't really adding up to me but uh it uh you know all of it, 
additional XP that helps you leveling captains and you know everything else it, it again it doesn't seem like much but it stacks on top of everything else and it's per game you get it for free just because you're you know you're in a clan that has this upgrade you know uh, design bureau you know free XP ships well guess what you know this is 25% free X uh, 25% free XP um, each game just because you are uh, you know you've you've fully upgraded the design bureau and so on and so forth uh, there's there's so many advantages to, to finding a clan uh, and if if you guys don't know how to to join a clan I'll, I'll leave uh, I'm on the North American server but you can go to the World of Warships website uh, the the forms for your server and I've never been to, to Asia or the Russian forms but EU and NA both have you know clan sections of the form which makes me think it's gonna be on on um, on everybody's server where you can look at, at you know recruiting or applying for clans and then it's just a matter of you know following the clans uh, process for uh, for recruitment so take advantage of the events um, now one of the, one of the other things your daily containers um, if you're looking to, to get coal just go for the resource container in my opinion it's the best bang for your buck make sure you get coal You know, well, there's 400 coal right there. I don't even know what all these containers are, so I'm just going to open them all and see what happens. Okay, another additional 400 coal out of there. Some other stuff. So, you know, again, it, it all adds up. Um, also, with the 400 coal, additional 28 uh, coal on top of it just because of the coal port and that starts to indicate how this stuff stacks up uh, it happens you know rather quickly um, so talked about uh, I'm trying to do this systematically talked about the current snowflake event uh, talked about the base upgrades uh, the daily containers if you don't have a lot of time guys this is XP based it's XP based so prioritize ships that that uh, earn a lot of lot of XP so for example if I really want to do this fast uh, I want to bring ships out that have special XP multipliers like Sims if I can only get you know three or four games in a game or in a night and I want to make sure I get all of my containers. I'll take this bad boy out, throw some XP camo on it, throw some signals on it, and just get it done. You know, it's it's uh, it's one of those things. You you make the investment. You try to get your your three daily containers in. Um, typically. Uh, if you get resource containers uh, typically that's going to be at least 1200 steel a day if you can get all three containers at least and there's there's periods of time where uh, it can be a lot more than that because of uh, you're getting you know multiple uh, sacks of coal or bushels of coal or whatever the hell the measurement of coal is I've only heard it measured by the ton but it looks like a sack of coal that they're using in the game so I'm just gonna run with that um, so you know get those those daily containers they're they're out there uh, they're every single day you know they're free um, if you're part of a clan sorry I skipped a skipped ahead if you're part of a clan take part in the naval battles hey guess what we just got a ton of uh, ton of oil because you know we won that so that that goes that much further towards 
us upgrading our our port so um sorry just uh skipping around because it wouldn't be a kuro video if i wasn't talking in stream of consciousness half the time so your combat missions go through here periodically i'll be honest i'm really bad at this i almost never look in here uh, but generally i'm able to complete almost everything anyway uh, unless it's, you know, involving a, a certain ship or s something like that. But a lot of these daily missions, they offer, you know, coal and, and different sorts of, uh, you know, resources, things like that. That, uh, you know, uh, again, it's, it's just there for the taking. So you might as well, uh, you know, try to, try to use it. Actually, we're going to back out of that so definitely take a look at uh, at your combat missions your daily containers um, let me see here do some of these containers eh, you know what we're just gonna pass on by that since uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, uh, but, uh, so, let's talk about other ways to, uh, to earn steel and coal, particularly ways that are consistently going to, uh, to earn for you, and that is, um, you know, hopping over to, uh, to the news channel on World Warships, um, and paying attention you've got you know uh, directives and and things like that that come out with new lines and a lot of this stuff offers a lot of good things to help uh, keep your account running I I look at you know everything you know your credits your XP commander XP free XP I treat it all as as a, a you know its own resource and I'm constantly trying to make sure that I've got enough coming in um, you know, I've purchased a, a bunch of ships for, uh, the Snowflake event, just for the extra, extra Snowflakes, um, and, you know, it's, it's having its desired, uh, effect. So you have all the directives and stuff, um, but you also have, um, where are we at? you know, daily challenges, daily missions, things like that, that they'll lay out these reward cycles. And if you look, you know, there's 400 coal every day in here. That's a lot of coal. You know, and it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things when you're, you're looking at it, you know, take advantage of this stuff. It's, it's there for you to, to utilize. Um, you know, probably the, uh, the next easiest mode would be rank sprint. You know, this is the, uh, the reward for rank sprint. Everybody should be able to complete a sprint, uh, unless you physically don't have the time to play the game. And it's a cheap 10,000 coal. Um, part of, part of, you know, the earning steel and coal, you're going to have to get into modes that you, you, you might not otherwise want to play. Um, I, I personally, i I find ranked very enjoyable. Um, and I love the game for clan battles and, and actual competitive modes. Um, that's the real reason why I'm still around playing this game, but I'd play ranked every day if I could. Uh, so take advantage of it. You know, they've restructured the rank events where, uh, I mean, all the way down to, to, uh, to rank 16 looks like it's your first, uh, first steel reward. That's, that's huge. I mean, you know, most people should be able to get to, uh, get to rank 10. And that's two, four, six, eight, ten. 
that's 1,300 steel right there. Not factoring in any bonuses or anything like that. Um, you know, and if if you if you guys are having a hard time with ranked, guys, use me use me as uh, you know an asset. You know, let me know what you're struggling in. You know, I do private replay analysis. We'll get you up to speed. Uh, but it's this is one of those things that the ranked is a journey, and I personally I enjoy it. I don't get too salty about it, but you know I've got ways that I go about doing it to to make sure that it's not you know I'm not gonna have you know big you know morale hits where I keep playing into losses where I'm I'm playing like crap or or you know it's it's just quote not my day that's what I say if um if I hit one of those streaks and uh, I just stop you know and that's uh that's something that the guys that I see get really frustrated with it you know they they'll sit there and keep playing into it and they're they're getting more and more frustrated it's making them play worse and worse and that's how they end up losing you know two full ranks or more even i've i've heard guys you know dropping three or four in a single day um because they're not they're not paying attention to uh to how their their performance is how their brain is is functioning at this time so ranked is uh is another way i mean they've they've I've got to say, I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, with the amount of reward that that they've got coming out of ranked with uh, 5,500 steel, and if you look at it, most of it's all in the bottom end. I mean, if you can get to to rank six, you know, you're getting most of the you're getting a significant chunk of it, and it ranked really doesn't really doesn't start getting interesting for me until rank five. This is where most of the good players will uh, will be congregating. Uh, you literally should be able to take just about any ship as long as you play it, you know, halfway decent. You should be able to steamroll all the way up to to six, and you know, enjoy the the rewards along the way. And if you look at it, I mean, you look at the combat signals. It's all tailored to uh, keep you guys. Um, you know, uh, to not burden your, your signal flags. You've got, you know, 10 chances to make it to rank 14, so four wins. Uh, you get, you know, another, another 10 stars. Uh, you know, use this stuff. This stuff is, is great for, uh, for you to add to your account. Um, you get up here into into League One, you start getting some some decent camos, things like that. Um, all of this is is you know this this is great stuff to have, especially you get these directives coming up like the Puerto Rico grinds grind fest that people are going on. This is the stuff that that you're burning to to use those events. So. You know, by taking part in this event, you're making other events easier for you, and things things just get they just get easier when you have this kind of stuff laying around. Um, you know, clan brawls probably the next easiest uh, uh, mode. This, you know, you do have to have you know your team around, depending on. Um, you know what the uh, the actual brawl is. I don't know if they're gonna do one v ones, but it's it's something that's specific to the the season. But again, you take a look at the rewards. Uh, you know, some of this stuff is uh, is pretty nice. And you come down here, and you know, from the top 50, you're getting 5,000 coal. Uh, all the way up to number one getting 25,000 coal so in the meantime everybody you know should be able to secure some of this stuff um, you know don't let it don't let it just lay around here you, you look at this this is uh, 
this is a good jump on getting a coal ship right here. And, you know, clan brawls is, is quick. It's usually only, you know, one, one night a week or, um, I think this last brawl that they're, they're doing is like three nights, um, uh, three Saturdays over, over a period of time. But, um, I personally, I've never taken, taken part in clan brawls. I've just, Saturdays aren't usually a day that I'm available. So this is stuff that I usually end up missing out on, but it's there. Uh, you know, take the time, hop in the, hop in a clan. Uh, and when you're, you're researching a clan, if you're interested in this stuff, ask them about it. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, the next, um, the next one, this is definitely how you want to grind steel. This is the number one steel grinder in, uh, in the game. And that is, uh, clan battles. <coughs> and you don't need to go all the way to the top. I, I mean, if you, if you can get, um, uh, if you can get all the, uh, the rewards, it's 11,000 steel per season. That's, that's massive. Um, I mean, less than three seasons of this, you're buying Borgon with, uh, with steel to spare. So, you know, you take a look at it. Squall, up to 2,000 steel. Gale, another 2,000. Uh, uh, but again, you need, to, you need to put yourself out there. You need to get, you know, with a clan. And, you know, that clan actually needs to have some sort of cohesion where you guys are, are at least willing to come to an agreement that we're going to have X number of guys show up. And we're just going to play. Even if you're playing for fun or whatever, uh, you're going to get, you're still going to run into wins. And when you do get wins, you know, go on ahead and, uh, and farm away. And if you're in a clan and you guys are interested in doing clan battles, uh, but you're struggling with tactics, uh, things like that, again, get in touch with me. You know, leave a comment below, something like that. We'll work something out where uh where we can we can meet i've i've helped several clans over the last uh last year or so um try to improve you know their clan performance and you know i've i've bumped a couple clans from uh you know the the gale level up into uh up into typhoon and uh that's a lot of extra rewards for those guys um uh, so again, use me as a resource if if you're in that that clan environment, you guys just aren't clicking and you need you're looking for that you know that something that's gonna gonna point you guys in a direction. You know, get in touch with me and uh, we'll work something out. Um, other other modes that that help uh, tournaments. You know, this is a a tournament that you can. Uh, actually enter there's they've got all sorts of different stuff that goes on this is less advertised i've basically been trying to take this from uh you know most popular easiest available you know and stretch it all the way out to uh you know the most complicated but you know some of these um uh, these actual tournaments you actually start getting into um you know doubloon rewards uh some of the, excuse me and some of the stuff can be pretty uh pretty nice <clears throat> so um now the the next one this one is um this one's probably the biggest tournament in the game right now king of the sea and you know it's 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 got some rewards it's got you know um, I mean, everybody from 40th place on is getting 500 doubloons. I think 60 some odd teams per server could apply. Um, so it's one of those things you've, you know, you got to try to get into this tournament. So you need to have a cohesive clan that's going to be able to show up and, uh, and actually take part. But, um, uh, I mean, there's, there's a chunk of steel here. 
that's uh, that's available. And um, I just I point this out because you know this is this is one of those ways that uh, you know for example this last king of the sea, Cuter placed second. We got four thousand steel off of it, and uh, with that additional ten percent. It was 4,400 steel off that. That's, you know, almost a rank season right there for, uh, you know, a couple couple weekends of, of work. So, you know, and I, I realize that not everybody's going to go, you know, be able to take part in King of the Sea and, and all of that. But there's stuff out there that you guys can take advantage of and just keep banking the stuff. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and you know let the stuff add up okay so that takes through all the different modes to um, to farm the steel um, off the top of my head and I believe that that those are the uh, the ways that you can uh, that you can grind steel and credits. Um, <clears throat> the big ones for people that I that I see, you know, if you're if you're looking for a steel ship, you should be playing at least ranked. Uh, the way the the rewards are structured, you can you can you can get up there, and you know I'm more than willing to to go out of my way and help guys. I've got guys that. I've had uh, over a dozen, you know, replay analysis videos done just for them. That's they're the only person that's going to ever view those videos, um, because you know I'm trying to. I I want players that are interested in getting better. I want to have a resource available for those guys to do it in. And, and you know, replay analysis really seems to to help a lot of guys. So if this is something that you're interested in, um, you know, let me know. Obvious, it's it's first come first serve. I keep a list and I, I cycle through it as as best I can. Um, and uh, with the uh, the replay constraints, I'm confined to, you know, if if there's a major patch, it usually breaks all of all of my replays and it's one of those things that I the list gets wiped and we start again you, you guys need to send me a replay and I'll I'll uh, I'll get to it but I I really feel that there's there's a lot of opportunities out there for players to uh, be making steady amounts of coal uh, and and steel with especially factoring in the rank season um, so that's that's my advice right there um i know this is a long video kind of boring with me hopping around but it's this is how i've i mean this is how i've gone about you know going through and you know picking up all of these ships i mean there's not i don't think there's any steel ships left that i haven't purchased uh, speaking of uh purchasing them uh, figure my personal doctrine when I'm purchasing steel ships or resource ships is I don't want to let a <coughs> a coupon expire so um, right here the 25% off resource ships I'll, I'll actually not use this until until June unless cuter asks me to purchase something um, so basically in the, the final days before the, uh, the coupon expires, that's when I'll go and, and actually use it just in case something that I really want pops up. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, wipe out all of my resources just on one thing. That's how I ended up with, uh, that's actually how I purchased, uh, Borgon and uh Neustra Shimmy. Um they were ships you know nobody really had asked me to purchase them but I had coupons expiring you know why not 
and uh, saved me a lot of uh, a lot of steel that way. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off before I talk all night. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, again, more than willing to help people, uh, you know, figure out these game modes. You guys might be going into, you know, something that's out of your comfort zone or even mildly annoying. Uh, you know, there's, there's ways to go about it where, uh, it's not quite so annoying and, uh, you know, maybe maybe it might be something that uh, that you can enjoy, or at the very least, you've got you know the prize at the uh, at the end with these ships that um, personally I find a lot of enjoyment in in them. So I hope you guys are having a good night. I'm gonna wish you guys a happy new year because it is the 31st right now. Not sure when this video will uh, will uh, make it to get posted, but I hope you guys are having a good night, and I will talk to you later.